Hey, I'm Steph from stephhendel.com and this is your 5K spring training core essentials get fit with it workout. Come join me for Wednesday workout up on my rooftop. In every move that we do today in our workout, it's gonna be 30 seconds of high intensity movement and 10 seconds resting. And you'll see at the beginning of each move that we do, I'm gonna give you a couple examples before those 30 seconds start, just so you know what you're going into. Okay, for your first move, we're gonna do a push up tuck. So come on down to your mat, go into plank position, and we're gonna come into a push up. As you come up from that, you're gonna tuck your right knee, then tuck your left knee, and then go back to the push-up. Now that you've seen the move, let's get into 30 seconds of high-intensity movement. And tucks are such an incredible way to tighten up your core, so that's why we're putting them as our first exercise. Okay, two modifications for anybody just starting out. The first one, you can just stay and hold plank position here. The second, be in plank position and just tuck your knees in. You can add in the push-up later on. We're down to our last 10 seconds here. So give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Here's your 10 second rest. So take this time to just recover, catch your breath, and get ready for the next move. Next up is 30 seconds of mountain climbers. We're gonna do this in between every move. So you're gonna be doing these a lot, so get used to them. And even though they can be super challenging, learn to love them. Remember, there's only 30 seconds that you're doing each time. So you can do anything for 30 seconds. So this is just like a fast version of the tucks that we just did. So you're gonna be in plank position and pull your knees up towards your elbows as fast as you can for these 30 seconds. Let's finish out strong for the last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Let's take 10 seconds to rest and then get back to our next move. All right, let's do some oblique crunches. Grab your weight. I'm using 14 pounds here, but use what you have around. Water bottles, soup cans, whatever you got. If you have weights, even better. With feet hips width apart, you're gonna put one hand on your head and then the other arm should be straight with the weights. You're gonna let that weighted arm come down towards your knee without curling your back inward. And then crunch that opposite arm that you have on your head to the opposite side. You're gonna feel that crunch in the sides of your abs. As you do this move, you want to remember to keep your shoulders back and have a slight bend in your knees. Let's finish out strong with good form. These are your last 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take your 10 seconds right here to rest and recover a little bit. Now let's do some oblique crunches on that other side. This time around, reach a little bit further and crunch a little bit more on that opposite side. You're almost done this move, so give it your all. Right now, make sure your shoulders are back and your abs are engaged. Here's your last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Time to do 
another 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Come on down into plank position and tuck your knees up to your elbows. This is all about energy, drive, and focus. So find that spot, go there, and take yourself for these 30 seconds as fast and as powerful as you can. Last 10 seconds, can you go a little bit faster? We got five, four, three, two, and one. Take 10 seconds to rest and recover before our next move. These are called toe touch tucks. Come down to plank position on your mat, tap your right leg out, your left leg out, and come into a half burpee or a tuck. I'll do one more example here and then we'll jump into 30 seconds of these toe touch tucks. All right, 30 seconds on the clock and let's hit it. Keep your abs engaged through this entire move. And now that you got the feel for it, try and go a little bit faster, speed this up a bit. By the end of these 30 seconds, you should be sweating. Tuck a little bit higher, reach those feet out just a little bit further and move your body a little bit faster. These are your last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it up, take a few seconds to catch your breath here. We're gonna go right into our next move, which you know is mountain climbers, so get ready. Here we go, come on down to plank position for some more mountain climbers. At this point, you know what you're doing here. We're bringing our knees up to our elbows and going as fast as we can. Now I know because you've done this many times before, you're sweating and you're sore. But push through this, remember it's only 30 seconds, and then you get to reward yourself with that 10 second break. Let's finish strong, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now take this 10 seconds and really appreciate it. You worked hard for it. Come back down to the mat. We're gonna do what I call sky touches. No preview on this one. We're just gonna get right into it. So come onto your mat, and extend your arms and your legs out straight. Now you're gonna lift yourself up with your abs, not with your arms, and then touch the sky when you get to the top. On this move, you wanna not lift your legs off the ground. So as you come up, you're completely pulling with your abs and then pushing forward up towards the sky. So really engage your abs here, lift high up, and don't let your hips or your legs come off the ground. Let's finish out our last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, take another 10 seconds rest here and get ready for your next move. Woohoo, 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Are you ready? I know you're tired and this sounds like agony right now, but remember how you want your body to change, why you're doing this. If you can tough out these 30 seconds of uncomfortability, then you can do anything. So right now, go a little faster. Tuck your knees up a little higher. Check your form, are your abs tight? Go all out right now. Finish it out even faster now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You earn these 10 seconds. Catch your breath. We've only got a few more exercises to go. Let's go into side plank leg lifts. So you're gonna come into a side plank on your mat. And next, lift your hips off the ground. What you're gonna do here, you can place your hand on your hip and you're gonna lift that top leg up. 
This is engaging your abs on so many different levels. A side plank in general is gonna really engage your abs, but a side plank with a leg lift is gonna even more engage your balance, your stability, and your core muscles. Now let's do a final 10 seconds of these on this side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Here's 10 seconds to rest and then we're going to flip it over and do this on the other side. Okay, so come on down to the other side. We're gonna put ourselves back into a side plank, lift our hips up off the mat, and really engage our core as we lift that top leg up. Abs should be tight and shoulders should be back. Keep a straight body line as you do this move. Let's finish out 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take 10 seconds here, get into our mountain climbers, and then we're gonna go into our final move. This is your last set of mountain climbers, so you know what that means. I want full intensity, full power. Give this all that you got right now. Pull those knees up to your elbows, keep your abs engaged, and go as fast as you can right now. Increase your speed. One more time to just go a little bit faster. These are your last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Come on down to your mat for your final move. These are 100s. So lift your knees and your shoulders off of the mat and extend your fingertips outward. Now that you're in this position, take your hands and do little pulses downward. Try not to strain your neck on this move. You should really be using your abs the entire time to hold you up and support you. We've been working the core this entire workout and this is your final move. So let's just finish it out strong. These are your last 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. If you wanna get maximum results from this, you wanna do this three times through. Let me know how this workout went for you. You can share your results on Facebook or Instagram. And for full training schedules and what to eat to enhance your workouts, check out the Fit and Fearless fitness and nutrition plan on stepheddle.com. Can't wait to work out with you next week. Action. <laughs> Come join me for a Wednesday workout up on my rooftop. Hey, what's wrong with your tomorrow? I'm ready. Are you ready? Action. I'm ready. And this is your 5K spring training. Yeah. And...